hello my Geminis how are you make sure I'm recording this is my new setup I hope it is sufficient it's gonna be great for me and you apparently so um, welcome if you're coming back to me hello if you're new I'm so happy to have you here um, we are a very nice community just letting you know okay no BS here for sure so um, how I'm gonna set up this reading for those of you who don't know or need a refresher we're gonna go into the energies just a little bit with a couple of cards um, I'm gonna pull a cards about the energy now your environment which is usually the person you're dealing with you and the conclusion for this month and then if you want to stay, which I suggest you do, we're going to dig deeper and then do advice, okay? So you'll be with me for a little while. And then oracle cards at the end for advice. So your first card that wanted to come out as the overall energy is opportunities. Now, it says unfurl like a fern with, without warm sunlight. Now, this is about... Being able, Gemini, to remain open, even though you're not getting the nurturing or you don't see what is happening. Being able to be in your power or in that power without, without knowing what is happening. You also have the Two of Wands. It actually came up in reverse when it came out of the deck, okay? But <clears throat> it's about a decision being made. It feels to me there's lots of fire behind this. Scorpio had this as well. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I will watch that. Um, but it, it talks about seeing the future or knowing the future and having it so close yet so far. You also have the sun. The sun brings enlightenment. It brings beginnings. It brings, it brings a direction to this passion. Okay? So this is about someone's going to open up to you or you're going to open up to someone okay there is a lightness about these two cards because it just feels like the world is at your fingertips everything is a possibility the very very good energy from all of these cards for you okay wow gemini wow 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 okay <clears throat> So now we're going to go into your energy. Let's see what Spirit has for you for this mid-June. Okay. There was confusion. Um, I feel like in a partnership something was missed an opportunity was missed someone wasn't seeing what they have and it brought about confusion about the future and where you were going and what it meant for the relationship or for you as an individual there's definitely there's definitely some fire here passion they're telling me passion behind what you were saying. Some you had you had an idea or something and there was a lot of something behind it. It meant something to you. This was important whatever this was. Um uh, I feel like this person feels as though you pulled it out of the hat but you didn't. Okay? It's something that meant a lot to you. Lots of conversation behind it, lots of ideas behind it. This is something that grew legs of its own and it became extremely important to you. The future, something about the future, something about expanding, okay? And because it started to expand, <clears throat> I feel like your partner, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <clears throat> felt that fire and that energy behind it it caused some pushback 
And you had to have a lot of patience regarding this situation. A bit of a step back. Okay. Yeah, you were abiding your time. There's that two of wands again, okay? Not making a decision, looking at the future, holding on to what it is that you believed, okay? I also feel with this too that all the energy and thoughts that were coming into your head, you had to cut some of them out, okay? Because they weren't helping you. They weren't serving you any good or you just like over time they kind of fell away um, I don't know why they're telling me like you just had time to think about it and they just kind of fell away but you are thinking about your future the decisions that you're gonna make leading to your future and that was just that okay so let's see what your partner where your partner is, Gemini, or your environment. Oof, I think I got a hair on my eye. Okay. I've been taking lots of naps today, so who knows what's smashed up in my eye. Ugh, there it is again. Come on, hair. Okay. I'll work on that later, getting that hair out of there, because I, you know, we got things to do. Okay, so, <clears throat> three, three of swords in reverse, the chariot, the three of pentacles, the tower, wow, hiding underneath the tower was the hermit, interesting, okay, so, your partner wants to heal this situation, okay? You are in a partnership with this person. You either, or you have a really good connection with them. You could be in a relationship. You could be friends. This could be work, okay? But I really just feel like they want to heal this connection, okay? Their will, their energy, their drive is towards you. Their, your, their drive is towards you and healing this. This is not a situation that they want to continue to be in. This is not ideal to them in any kind of way, okay? I do feel like the shock is that in order to keep you, your energy, they have to shift their will because they have things that they want as well to correspond with yours. It's like they had to shatter what they were doing in order to work with you. And they may had to, <clears throat> they may have had or have to separate themselves, okay, in order to see what you see, in order to understand where it is that you're coming from. They do want to nurture you in this situation. You're very important to them. There's no doubt there that you are very important to them. And I do feel with this intensely that they are going to come around, okay? They just have to do a lot of thinking about what you're saying. It has to hit them in a way that they have that wheel behind it with the chariot. That they have that energy behind it that you have. But I feel like they will. I have no doubt, okay? So, Gemini's on your side. Yep, I was waiting for one more card and got two. Five cards for both of you. Interesting, wanted to slip on out. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, the World, the Page of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Wands together. I feel like you are expressing your truth and you feel like expressing your truth um, made this person step away from you okay but that's okay um, it's only okay because you needed to end a cycle there was something that you needed to get out there was something that needed to be expressed 
something that you felt extremely important to that was extremely important extremely important to you and it needed to this cycle needed to end of you not being able to do that you may feel like this person stepped back from you and it feels like a betrayal in a way okay but like I said you did this out of love and I feel like either a love offer is coming to you okay to show you that this person cares and that they're important or you could be giving this love offer to them but I feel as though your partner because it's underneath the seven of swords is coming to you because you felt like they left you behind after you expressed your cycle or expressed yourself or ended a cycle you know what it is that you want Gemini okay your emotions are under control the thing is, because this has happened, be careful that it doesn't block you from seeing the other person's side or being open to receiving what the other person is trying to bring to you, okay? Because I do feel a bit of betrayal from your partner or the, your environment. With the King of Wands here, you're very set on what it is that you want. And like I said, you could take these wands and start building protection around you. And that's not what you want to do right now. You're just trying to end a cycle. But because you feel so intensely about what it is that you want, it's causing, it may cause you not to see this. Because this is a page of cups and you're at a this is a page and you're at a king the king is like I need you to bow say that you understand and that you're gonna go along with it the page is like I'll try <laughs> okay but you have to understand that to this person this is them opening up but all you see right now is betrayal okay so just be a little bit careful of that so let's see what's going on by the end of the month for Gemini. What is this little hair? Y'all, this little hair is driving me crazy. Okay. So, Ten of Wands. Lots of burden, okay? I feel like you're at the end of it, though. And this is all of that communication. That communication plus what you want plus having to make a decision is all balling up to create this worry or this burden that you feel regarding this situation. You're definitely thinking now, do I need to cut this person out? Are we done? Is this it? Because I know what it is that I want, okay? Okay. And you're just nurturing your own truth because you have walked into it. That That's just what's happening here, okay? <clears throat> but that idea and that way of being is keeping you trapped. It's keeping you trapped in your thoughts. It's keeping you trapped feeling like this person is deceiving, right? It's keeping this person trapped and wanting to heal but not knowing if they should just cut it out. They don't, they don't know, right? There is an opportunity for love here, but you have to turn all of that energy into something positive, right? You do have your own truth, and nothing is the matter with that. But you, ha you also have to be open to the flightiness of the fire. And what I mean by that is fire, the, the, the knight of wands comes in and out right so it's like a lighter but passionate energy and that's what they're bringing to you lots of fire energy okay they're also saying the moon the moon is in Sagittarius the full moon that's fire energy 
And I feel like this is more of a big, a bigger understanding that there is love here. And this idea that you have or what it is that you want needs to grow. It's just being presented to them right now. Okay? So there is an opportunity for it to grow. Right? There's acceptance here. Needing to see the bigger picture. And the sun brings in the light, the knowledge, the clarity, the epiphany, the aha moment. Right? opportunities there is the opportunity for it to happen I don't think honestly Gemini that you're gonna get the pat on the back and the okay right now but I do feel like your partner is very open to the possibility which is good in and of itself okay I, I feel like it is I feel like it's it needs some time to grow and to cultivate okay so now we're going to jump into your energies, Gemini. Let's dig deep. messages are flying out right now I'm just gonna talk okay so yeah I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait because it has to do with the cards I keep looking at them and the messages keep coming to me so I might as well wait on the bottom of the jet of the deck we have the world card underneath that you have the full Like I said, you took an eternal risk. This was big for you. That's why it comes out as the fool. This is the first card and the last card, okay? So the risk that you took ended a cycle. It completed something. Something in you I felt like that has been waiting for a long time to come out. Um, something that you've been holding back but it needed to end it was like it was time that's what it feels like to me it feels like it's time I needed to get this out to start something new to start the life to be truly true to myself In the center of the reading, you have the moon. The moon is telling me like, you're walking into the unknown. It's very frightening to you internally. And you don't know what's gonna be on the other side. All you see is these immediate obstructions obstacles in your way but you don't see where it's gonna go okay this is all that information this is you discussing your feelings and all that information coming in to you I feel like you're just downloading a lot of things, figuring out this transition that you're going in, how is it going to happen. It's just all thoughts just coming in, coming in, coming in. And you're attempting to be as strong as you can. This is about you getting yourself back on track almost or connecting with yourself in a stronger way, taming your lions taming your thoughts because you want to get to this happiness this epiphany moment 
the sunshine on the other side. Like I said, the Page of Cups comes back up because this is that love offer. You feel like you may have lost it, but but this is also about relearning how to love the situation you're in or also relearning how to love yourself. Okay? You have to... <clears throat> I feel like there's this energy of being closed off and learning how to blossom again. Okay. There's conflict with you doing that. And... I feel like you feel the need to defend yourself. And that's what when we were talking about in the first half of the reading. I feel like you want to defend yourself by what has not happened yet. Or what you feel is going to happen, but you're not quite sure if that's going to happen. But you feel the need to defend your epiphany moment. What you believe. How you feel. Maybe thinking somebody else doesn't appreciate it or see the the good in it or the importance in it like you do yeah your newfound strength has definitely rebirthed you okay and I feel like whoever you're dealing with they're starting to see that as well you're definitely following your own path, listening to your intuition. That's what has led you here to open yourself up and be who you are. I do feel like this person's going to offer you something, okay? Um, the offer, they don't know what's going on either. They don't know how things are going to pan out, whatever, whoever this is in your environment. But they're willing to... They're willing to start over. They're willing to open up. They are also listening to their intuition and dealing with their own strength because now that this has opened up, everyone has to get it together. <laughs> okay? Everyone has to figure out what the hell is going on. So it's not just you that is affected by this. It's also this other person and... I hear it retreat. So they needed a moment to figure out things. Okay. The only card I haven't picked up yet is the two of pentacles. This is about balance of two sides. Either you and this other person or two sides of yourself. Okay. Because... It's like, I want to defend myself. And what I usually know about defending myself is shutting down, closing off, being upset, being angry. But you know that this is not going to give you the rebirth that you deserve or need in this situation. So let's do some clarifying. We're going to clarify the Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay. Indecision. Um, so the Eight of Wands is all that information coming into you. Like I said, I feel like this information has been lingering for a while. Can you see? Okay. I feel like this information has been lingering a while for these two cards. And there has been a block to it. Because you felt like it would delay the growth of the relationship or where you are as a person. But it needed to come out. Okay. Which is why it did come out. Okay. Please Let's see more about this epiphany. Ooh, oh my God, a whole stack. So I got a few stories probably. <clears throat> the meaning, the main reason of this epiphany is for you to nurture yourself, 
to become strong in who you are, to know what it is that you want, to move forward on your path in a way that is nurturing. It's like um, the Empress is the abundance of the feminine nature, right? Um, it's you connecting with yourself. Not really initiating or fighting or taking a strong stance, but more of a going with the flow or feeling more comfortable in your situation, okay? This was something that definitely you moved away from or you felt like you needed to separate from to be in this situation or with this person or just comfortable in life. Okay, um, and by not fighting or not standing up for it or not allowing it to enter your life because of fear of rejection or fear of people or this individual not seeing the same thing you do eye to eye, it made you mean or harsh. You, ha you may have been mean or harsh to this person in the past. Um, about your feelings or about what you needed to get out but that's why it needed to come out it needed to come out so you could have a more stable life it needed to come out so you could be better more comfortable happier okay and now you can start to invest in the life that you want or that means something great to you okay so, Spirit, please clarify the Page of Cups. Yeah. Somebody, somebody knows that you're their happiness, okay? And instead of letting everything fall apart um, because they want what they want and they don't want to bend, they're going to offer a peace offering, if you will. You know, like, a, are you okay? You want to talk about it? That type of thing. I do feel like they're upset. I don't feel like their emotions are all the way together about how they feel. But I do feel like they're going to offer something to you because you made them happy as an individual, okay? So just be careful. Don't open up too quick because I feel like um, they're still, they still need that time, okay? But they still want to be in contact with you in some sort of way. Okay, so let's talk about the moon. Be careful about fears holding you back with the devil card, okay? The moon, you're not being able to see the future and not being able to know what's happening is causing you fear. But it's a man-made fear that's stopping you from moving forward. Slow and steady wins the race is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, but in reverse, he is not moving. If anything, he's taking one step forward, two steps back, okay? And that's what fear, that's what the fear is doing to you. But it's man-made, meaning it's self-made, self-made fear. So you can work on that. Seven of Wands. The, the needing to defend yourself needing to defend yourself against the person you care about because you care about them so much that they can hurt you or they can defeat you and you know that they are a weakness of yours and the easiest way to defeat this weakness is to block it and not let it in but that's not going to really help you get where you want to get to now is it Yeah, somebody's coming in to make some changes, right? <clears throat> this this was on the death card. So, someone's coming in to make some changes. Like, they know that they want you, okay? This is not the best time. Timing is a factor here, okay? But at the same time, they don't want it to fall apart. So, this is not the time to go full balls to the wall oh is it balls to the wall <laughs> i think that's what it is to go to not go full in at the moment but to take your time even though i don't see temperance here the the high priestess tells you that 
you need to listen to your intuition about how you handle the things okay but the thing is don't go in you've you've been in too much this is not a time to retreat this is a time to secure friendships and to celebrate what has happened it's like you need to celebrate this win don't disappear and don't be like oh I need to think about it I need to figure out what's going on this is a time to celebrate your win okay and don't be afraid and don't hide don't hermit yourself you're gonna have to learn how to balance especially in situations where you're not clear on how you should proceed forward but the path that you're on is a good one. It's not comfortable. We've all been in situations where we're not comfortable, okay? We've all been through high school. So let's leave it at that, all right? <laughs> um, but you need to continue forward and keep moving, okay? Be careful about putting your wall up. They're telling me to separate these two. So the two of pentacles. These are the two sections. So you're confused, um, not very clear on what to do, still moving forward. Here, this is putting your wall up while someone else is trying to get in. So to me, this is you waiting on the other person to break down your walls, okay? But really, there's more to be done here. There's more to be worked on, okay? So it's about facing your fears owning up to what's going on and just keep moving keep moving you need to balance these two energies and keep moving Gemini let me tell you something that was heavy I feel really heavy I done took about four naps today and you gonna make me take another one out here Jesus okay So we're going to go into some oracle cards. Yeah, I love <laughs> opportunities. Um, I'm going to read it again. Unfurl like a fern without warm sunlight. So without getting that appreciation or that feedback that you think you need to continue on, you're still moving. It's just a reminder to keep moving. Like... You don't need that to keep moving because that will be codependency. Wink. <laughs> okay. Bruh. Didn't codependency come out? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yes. Okay, you have the lizard spirit. Um, it says, dream the world into being. You are now free. You have now taken a small step, which feels like the biggest step. Okay? Um, but you have to continue the dream. You have to continue to move forward. Is that good? Yeah. You have to continue to put that work in. You can do it. I have no doubts in you at all. This comes down to two. Partnerships, cooperation. Lots of love cards, but we'll get into those. You also have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. That's that moon card creeping into your life, okay? You don't need to know all the answers. You don't need to know what's going to happen. All you need to know is that you stood in your truth. And that you're standing in your truth. You're breaking down walls. You're creating a new religion, I guess, for yourself. Okay? I like to use that word willy-nilly, but, you know. So, <clears throat> free yourself. You are special. You deserve to be heard. And that's what that's saying. True love and wedding. You could have gotten married. You could have made a commitment. This person wants to make a commitment with you. This person has strong feelings for you or whoever this is in your environment. Whether this is family, they truly care about you. Okay? And the love runs deeper. It, I feel like there's no matter what you could say to this person. Of course, they need to deal with what they got to deal with. But I don't think they're going to run away from you. I just don't feel that. Codependency. 
There's that card, okay? So codependency is... You can't rely on someone else's energy to define your energy. You can't rely on someone else's conversation, reply to dictate your reply. You have to stand free and strong within yourself. But also it's important for you to remember that there is a bond with this environmental energy that you also need to work on. So just because you express yourself doesn't mean like now I got to put up the wall to protect myself. You have to live in it now. Dream your world into being. Now if you want to be in a world where you put up a wall, then that's the world you want to live in. But if you want to live in an open, free, free-flowing environment, you have to create that. Okay? Alright, Gemini. I had to breathe through that for a second. Okay. So, Gemini, thank you so much for being here and letting me do this reading for you. Or listening, sitting through this. Um, if you loved it, or even if you liked it, if you kind of dealt with it, please please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. I love comments. I love to read them. Follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. If you want a private reading, link's in the description box below. I believe we're at the end of June right now. Um, and it's filling up fast. It fills up fast. So we'll probably be in July if you wait. If you wait a week, we'll be in July. I can promise you that. Okay? So, I love you. Bye.